Hello. I've got <clears throat> my two new bar magnets with one half inch spacer in between. And I want to show you the dielectric plane. Now, the middle one, the center one is the dielectric plane in between the two magnets. And those other ones are the dielectric planes of the magnets themselves. Okay, so it shows that when a north and south pole come together, a plane is developed in between of them. I'm going to try less of a spacer now. Okay, let's try 3 eighths of a spacer. Let's see what happens. Okay, you're getting a dielectric plane in the middle, and the other two dielectric planes on the magnet still. Let's try one quarter inch spacer. We have the dielectric field still in the middle, and the other two dielectric fields, or the dielectric planes rather, in the center of the other two magnets. Now I'm going to try one eighth space. Okay, here's one eighth space. And you see the dielectric field or plane in the middle again with the two thicker dielectric planes on the magnet. Now I'm going to take off that one eighth and show it to you again with just joined together. And you get that with a very tiny thin line in the middle. Anyway, that shows you that there are the dielectric planes are on the magnet themselves between the north and south pole and they are created between basically it looks like any north and south pole even if they're on different magnets. So if the magnets are joining there is a, a plane develops in between the two magnets. And now, if I do it two magnets side to side, like that, you get the dielectric plane in the middle, and you get another one between the two magnets. Move it side on the end, like that, and you get the dielectric plane in the middle, and the fields around the edge. Turn it over again, and you get the dielectric plane in the middle and in between the two magnets. But on the end, you get the dielectric plane in between the two magnets. And that's the other side. Okay, that's all I want to show you there.